It's now time to have a quick word with the founder and CEO of Advanced Stem Cells, Vipul Jain. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. I'm very excited to uh, understand more about uh, cell therapy. Uh, this is relatively new, so how, how do you get your uh, patients to understand more about this and are they open uh, to trying this therapy? Sure. Um, so yes, a lot of patients approach us now on a daily basis from all over the world and they are trying to uh, find a solution of uh, their disease. Unfortunately, in modern medical science, there are a lot of diseases for which there is no, uh, uh, there is no treatment option available. Stem cells, fortunately, has come up as a new branch of science, medical science, where now we can treat or manage even those complicated diseases which till now has been termed as untreatable. Uh, so things like uh, MND, ALS, uh, muscular dystrophies, autisms, uh, they have presented a challenge since ever for medical community. But now with stem cells, we can regenerate the uh, person's own body, regenerate the mind, uh, so as to manage or treat these complicated uh, diseases. You know, Vipul, it almost sounds like a dream when you're talking to me about the cell therapy and stem cell therapy. Um, because you're talking about all these difficult diseases to deal with that has stumped doctors world over about what to do with their patients and it's uh, year and years we have more and more statistic num statistical numbers of these diseases like diabetes and you're saying that there is a stem cell solution to that. Absolutely. Uh, let's take an example of diabetes. Now, what is diabetes? Diabetes is a disease of the pancreas. Right? So when your pancreas uh, stop producing the normal amount of insulin that they should, uh, you get dependent on outside insulin. Now, it is very easy because you can take insulin and everything goes right, but unfortunately it doesn't happen that way. Uh, your insulin dosage keeps on increasing and then the disease starts affecting your kidneys, your liver, your eyes and you know, a whole lot of problems. Now, what if there was a solution? where we can do something that the pancreas start producing natural insulin itself. Now, I think that would be a great thing to do. Now, that is where stem cells come into play. If we are able to put the right quantity of cells, uh, the right quality of cells in the pancreas, it can rejuvenate the pancreas, make it produce more natural insulin, reduce our dependency on, insulin, on artificial insulin, and thereby protecting us from all the complications that diabetes provide. This is a new science, it's only about four or five years old, but the way it is revolutionizing the modern medicine world, it is regularly called as the future of modern medicine. Um, this is the principal way of uh, uh, how stem cell therapy works. So if I take something other than diabetes like osteoporosis or arthritis, uh, is that how it would also work? Absolutely. So if you look at osteoporosis or arthritis, uh, the problem is that the cartilage between our bones gets degenerated. Uh, this could be because of the normal wear and tear, this could be because of uh, high usage of our knee joints or it could be just age related. Now what if we are able to regenerate this cartilage? If we are able to put the cells within the bones and it regenerates the cartilage, reduces the inflammation, your pain goes away, your joint again becomes strong, you can avoid the knee replacement surgery. Really, everything that you're telling me, I'm like truly, uh, tr truly getting excited from within. But uh, these two were examples of where you developed this over the course of your life. What about genetic disorders like autism or uh, delayed milestones? Uh, can uh, can we treat uh, those with this? Uh, absolutely. So uh, genetic disorders are a little tough to treat because the genes are at fault. Uh, but for example, something like autism. Now, autism ideally speaking is not a disease, so it, it cannot be treated, it's a behavioral problem. So uh, a child is very hyperactive, a child does not have concentration, uh, uh, he's not able to learn what he's taught. Now once we give stem cells, it makes changes into the brain, it rejuvenates the brain. And we have seen if the child, if the age is on our side, so for example the child is less than 8 years of age, we have seen 60 to 70 percent of the children develop more concentration. Once they develop more concentration, we are able to teach the children uh, about behavior, about occupational therapy, and they are able to retain that learning. Once they are able to do that, uh, the, the life of the child changes. 
That all sounds uh, really miraculous. Uh, Vipul, I have one question. You're not a doctor. You said you are not a research a researcher, um, uh, but you're a businessman. And yet you have done extensive research in this. And what has been your inspiration? Why did you do this? I'm sure there's a story behind this. Um, so my inspiration is the fact that uh, A, I have a passion about healthcare. Uh, B, I am a strong believer that one day humans will live till 150. And I, I believe that today with advancements in medical sciences, the person who will live till 150 is already born. He is among us somewhere. Uh, so I always like to look into the future. I always want to know that what is next, especially in healthcare. And uh, in our labs, there are hundreds new things that we are working on on a daily basis. Uh, our moonshot is that we want to have 3D printed artificial organ that can be transplanted into a human being. And trust me, it is only eight years away. Wow, so lot to look forward to. Thank you so much, Vipul Jain. This was a very enriching experience for me Thank too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Glad I'm here.